Hi everybody, this is Gar from Prequilt, and for this video we are going to learn how to use a new feature, uh, which is a new type of grid, a triangular grid. So I'm going to try to create a uh, cre recreate uh, this quilt right here using um, this new grid that we have right here. So I'm going to jump over to my dashboard and create a new quilt. So this dialog box gives us uh, two options for the type of grid that we want. Uh, this is the standard rectangular grid. I'm going to pick the equilateral triangle. So it automatically created um, 18 columns by 10 rows, as well as uh, two types of blocks. So here we have the equilateral hole. It's, um, it's made for the inside of the quilt like this, and you can add it here. And so this one is half of the triangle, which is ideal for the left side and the right side to uh, fill in. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna select everything and I want to uh, clear everything using this reset select, okay? And then I want to clear everything and then start from the beginning. So first off, I need to create a new block. I'm gonna click here to make custom block. And I have uh, two options to the type of block that I want. I'm gonna click this one. And I'm gonna start by um, making, uh, filling in the background with black. Uh, the type of color I'm using is this um, color tag right here. I'm not too concerned about the colors in the beginning. I just want to put in the shapes. And then, uh, since they're all linked with a color tag, I'll fix the colors uh, later. Okay, so uh, for this, I'll need to just kind of reduce the width a little bit and then uh, center it like this. So I'm going to close this off. And now I'm going to apply this block to make our first star. Okay, so I just need to rotate a couple of blocks here and then need to rotate this one. I'm going to double click um, okay. and then okay, just need to double click this. There you go, so we have our first star ready. So now I'm going to take this star and copy and paste to create our first row. Okay, so I want, instead of clicking all these uh, blocks, I just want to right click and tell it to select everything that has the same block. Okay, so now, so now that it's selected, I want to uh, copy this and then paste it uh, right over here. So this, I'm going to right click on this. So it's important where you right click because that's going to be uh, the exact point where you're going to have to paste it. So because I clicked on to here, okay, on this uh, triangle, it means that I need to paste it right here. So that way uh, it fits snug with this one. If I paste it over here, it would overlap and then uh, cut some of this off. So I'm going to paste it right over here so it fits perfectly, but to this one. Uh, now I'm going to uh, paste this one. Oops, so now you notice that this is um, not fitting very well here. In fact, I'm getting a warning label uh, telling me that the block I have is uh, not does not fit into the cell. And in this case, um, it looks like the block is too big for this small uh, cell right here. So I'm going to click this, and that brings up a handy... Um, pop-up window to help me fix this quickly. So um, as you can see, the width of the block is five inches, but the cell is only two and a half. So I have a couple of options. I can either create a new block with the right dimensions or edit that block, um, or I could swap it. So Prequote went through the blocks that I have and it found one block that could fit this um, that cell. So this is the one I want, so I'm going to click this and not just apply it to that one cell, but I want it to apply it to uh, both of these cells. So there you go. So that fixed that. Um, I'm going to extend this. I need a new column. I think I just need one more column. 
So I'm going to right, I'm just going to click onto it. And just like Excel, I can insert a column before or after. So I want to insert it before, which is basically 17 and 18. So like 17 and a half or something like that. And so there you go. So that uh, created that new column. Now I'm going to add that double click and there you go. So we have our first row created. Now I just want to fill in the background. Um, now I need to create a new block because I don't want this block as the background. I want just a solid black color. So I want to create the same block and I'm going to scale this up and then close this. So as you, I just want to mention that uh, this shape is also using a color tag. And that's uh, going to be handy when we are finished, when we want to apply the randomization, uh, randomize color. Okay, so just select these. Lots of clicking at first, but then after you get this one, you can just do uh, copy and paste. Okay, so this one's for the edge. Okay. So we have our first row done, and now we want to select these four uh, rows by highlighting that. And I'm going to, again, it's important where you, it's important to be consistent where you want to uh, copy and paste. I like to pick one of the corners, and it just makes it easy to remember. So I'm going to copy that as the starting point, and then this will be where I paste it. And then I'll paste it again. Oops, so it looks like some parts are getting cut off. So I'm going to need to insert. This time, I'm, since I need to insert two rows, I'm just going to go over here. So this is night columns and rows. So I'm going to increase this from 10 to 12. And then I'm going to go back here because it's still in the memory. And I'm just going to paste that. And that's it. So we have our uh, quilt complete. I'm going to just. Uh, play around with some of the colors. I don't like the black and the green, so I'm going to randomize the colors and see if anything interesting um, comes up. All right, so the white is kind of is interesting. I'm going to see if I could come up with a something that complements that uh, uh, Kona bone. So I want to lock this uh, randomized color. And then continue with the randomize. Just now it's randomizing the um, this one, PQB. OK. Hmm. This is good. I think I'm going to keep this one. I'm really happy with this. And now I'm going to download the image. And I could uh, save this image to my computer. Uh, as a JPEG and also download the colors that I used for the quilt. Um, so it uses uh, 226 blocks and it gives you a breakdown of which ones you used. So I'm going to end the video here and uh, so if you have any questions uh, please write them down in the comments. Um, if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up to support us. And if you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to our channel so you can uh, keep up to date with the uh, videos that we produce. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.